So what's going on toxic gamers? We have a crazy tragedy at our hands and I swear to god man this suck is crazy right now and, and yeah this is a mayday situation so what these seconds have now done to this legendary Captain BBC Samurai is insane. I was not expecting this, okay? First of all, like, you look at this gameplay, right? So Captain BBC out here trying to pet the dog. Like the video if you love your mama. Like the video if you love God. Let's go for three likes on the video, ladies and gentlemen. And apparently, yep, so this was a wholesome thing in the in the gameplay. But wait for it. I got a bunch of stuff that I want to share with you guys. And you got, like, this kid out here saying, that, Hey, look, hey, whoa, BBC Samurai! BBC Samurai, like, what the hell? You be some you like it's crazy. Like, look at the, what, what? Like, everybody's so afraid. Hey, what the hell is going on? Like, they're doing this as well. Damn, the entire village, the entire village went crazy, right? Like, so we're gonna talk in depth about it, but apparently we're also hearing that financial analysts downgrade Ubisoft stock, citing that Star Wars Outlaws and predicting it will underperform expectations though yay like it's getting it's getting out of hands guys and as we get down to this story apparently this is what how this is what happened as well earlier today uh shout out to the homie schizo oh yeah that's my my twitter my bad guys. i forgot okay so if you do use twitter i would love to have you there apparently breaking we're hearing that ubisoft has canceled press previews of assassin's creed shadows I cannot believe this one. First of all, shout out to the homie Smash JT. Roll this one. So the Captain BBC woke up when the sunrise happened. Okay, that's cute. Roll it. I find it a bit funny every time Assassin's Creed Shadow comes up in conversation. It's always about how Ubisoft has once again stepped on a rake and slapped themselves in the face. They can't seem to do anything right with this game and this is coming from someone who's trying to see the positive in everything uh, okay cap come on man like stop lying stop capping stop capping stop bro. the cap like th this th you're not trying why i know this uh, thank you for subscribing the reason i know this is because there's nothing of value provided in this game dog it belongs in one place and one place only it belongs in the garbage <laughs> Dog, like, this thing is crazy, man. This thing is not leaving the LGBT people alone. This thing is not leaving the black people alone. They, like, what, what is going on here, bro? Like, look at that. Kid is like, yo, BBC Samurai, BBC Samurai. What? Y'all things are insane, man. And, of course, hip-hop music plays just because he's black. Uh, he's out there, like, fighting all the Japanese, right? Like, uh, the samurais and all that. Damn. Look at that. Oh, my God, bro. Yeah, he's a powerhouse. Now that's not a problem. Uh, it's a it, it's a problem for the other samurais for sure. But for him, that's not a problem. Legendary, they're calling him a, calling him a legendary captain, BBC samurai. Uh, and, and yeah, he going crazy. And whenever he fights, like BBC or I should say, like <laughs> hip hop music plays in the background. Yeah. Bro, what the hell? And now you suckers are canceling previews. What? Genuinely, I am, but Wait for holy it. crap, when you keep just stepping in it time and time again like Ubisoft does, there's no other approach I can take. What's going on guys? <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Smash JT, and Ubisoft is freaking out right now about Assassin's Creed Shadows launch coming Damn. up in November. And Oh, I didn't know that Shinobi, ooh, that Shinobi could do that. Damn. They are scared Damn. to death with the direction this game has been headed. Oh. <laughs> Yo! Yo! I swear to God, man! I swear to God, bro! Like, what? So the Shinobi's like, oh, okay, so that was cute, right? Like, slices one door. Damn! He slices how many? Four? I saw four. I saw four. So one. November, and they are scared to death with the direction this game has been headed. And in today's video, it's no different. They have pulled out of the Tokyo Game Show just days before it was supposed to go live, Damn. citing various circumstances without providing much more information. Now remember, this is the Tokyo Game Show and Ubisoft's biggest game, what they're arresting their entire yeah, yeah. company's future potential on is an Assassin's Creed game yeah. based in Japan. Yeah. They are pulling out of the Tokyo Game Show two months before the game comes out, two days before the Tokyo Game Show, because they are doing everything they possibly can to avoid any more microscopes yeah, on like... them. 
Oh, but don't worry, even when they do back out of the show to avoid controversy, they step in it somewhere else, signing a contract and making a figurine that is depicting a destroyed Tori gate, a symbolic structure seen at the entrances of Shinto shrines. Yeah. But it's not just- uh, they, Apparently, from what I heard, I, I'm not a Japanese expert. Uh, I was like watching a video, so now I feel like an expert, just like how I- uh, and yeah, like if I went this route, Ubisoft might hire me because like that's that's what Ubisoft did, right? They they hired a Japanese uh, cu uh, culture expert, and because of I believe their help, they sent like Japanese YouTubers like the exclusive goodies for Assassin's Creed. It, it, because yeah, the game is set in Japan, right? So they were like, let's send Japanese uh, stuff to the Japanese YouTubers. It turned out the stuff that was written was apparently in Chinese and Mandarin. So. Go figure, go figure. I, I don't know what kind of like, <laughs> what kind of expert they hired for Japan. So like, well, I don't know, man. But apparently, what we're hearing is that that figurine is linked with when uh, the U.S. drum, dr when the U.S. drop a uh, like a nuke, a nuke on uh, Hiroshima and Nagasaki in Japan. Yeah, actually, true, real. Uh, look up, man. It happened. U.S. drop a nuke. They drop like a bumble club there. Uh, and, and, and yeah, it's linked with that, so Ubisoft is now doing that, and uh, the Japanese are pissed off. I mean, understandably, rightfully so, That that's what we're hearing, I mean, like, uh, this game is a disaster, bro. Like, I swear to God, it's a disaster, and now they're pulling out, they're canceling their previews from Tokyo as well. I believe last year, they done, they wanted to, or I should say, they wanted to do that. Uh, I cannot, they, I cannot say they done it, they wanted to do that, and apparently... Uh, they tried to do it and, and people were just not showing up. The only people that were showing up was showing up because the other booths around were nearby and they were filled. So people were like, okay, let me just, you know, get a burrito. Let me just uh, rest a little bit. Let me just chill real quick. Let me just grab some snacks. Let me just eat real quick. But hey, man, there are a lot of people there. So hey, little, where, where can I go? Oh, yeah, Ubisoft right there. Ubisoft panel. Looks kind of empty, right? Looks kind of empty. So let me just go there. That's Bruh. that's what happened. There, nobody was showing up. People were using Ubisoft boots as uh, as resting place, and yeah. So this year, I think Ubisoft was like, okay, f y'all, sick is out here, man. We were not gonna do it. But if we ain't gonna do it, we ain't gonna do it. Okay, y'all, sick is can go pound sand, and they cancel the legendary Captain BBC Samurai. Uh, previous insane man insane Just any Tory gate that they used it's the eerily similar Tory gate to the one leg Tory a gate that survived the atomic bombing at Nagasaki oh, in one, 1945 yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah and Ubisoft has licensed this character out to sell the stat uh, and, and like some of the kids might that that, that might be watching this would, would be like hey well like I didn't know that yeah bro tough love bro tough love that that statue stood man like do do you even know like what a nuke is man like it's not a nuke that you get by getting 25 kills or 30 kills in call of duty okay it's the actual real thing the u.s dropped it bro like like it was crazy okay like yeah bro nuke is a is a no joke so that statue stood tall but ubisoft made fun of that too they were like okay y'all y'all is gonna go pound sand with that man at you and try to make money off of it you've got to be kidding me ubisoft <laughs> Oh, it's only getting subscribe, started. Subscribe, give me a like, and check out SmashJT.com for the full article breaking down Ubisoft. And, and as we descend down to even more wild stuff, guys, I need to shout out you guys, okay? Shout out to the homie Fazu, man. Shout out to the homie Blazing. Shout out to the homie Indigo. Shout out to the homie Influx for following over on the Instagram. And all of you people that followed during the live stream as well. If you do use Instagram, guys, it would be a pleasure to have you there. Link in the pinned comment. All right, let's get back to the content now, boo-boo freaking out right now leading up to the launch of one of the biggest titles they've ever created assassin's creed shadows and how they're trying to avoid controversy Vegas. in any way possible just Vegas. days before the event ubisoft has Vegas. suddenly pulled out of their planned tokyo game show stream citing various circumstances and not providing any further information man i share that joy like i used to be like this guy like five years ago ten years ago when we would get like really good games Nowadays, I, I I I be looking like this, man. I wish I wish I could say psych right now. I be looking like this, man. I mean, damn, man. Like, damn, what is going on in the gaming industry, man? Like, what is going on, man? Like, we I be looking like this. In fact, this is me, by the way. So, I really be looking like this. Look at look at all the homies right now, man. Like, damn, nobody happy, right? Nobody happy. Pretending to be happy, surprise, sad. 
my 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 real life Japanese homie. No, nah, he's actually Chinese. My bad, guys. Bruh. He's Chinese. He's Chinese. My bad. So, uh, yeah, like we out here, we're like, damn, bro. Like, what is going on, man? Video games. What is going on, man? What is going on, bro? And this wild decision comes at quite the crucial time for Ubisoft. Just two months before the launch of Assassin's Creed Shadows, the game that is set in Japan of all places is not showing up at the Tokyo Game Show. If Ubisoft was hoping to build any excitement for a game setting in a native country, this was their moment. But yeah. instead, they withdrew, leaving fans and industry insiders wondering if they're simply trying to avoid more bad press. And honestly, after reading through this message, I can't help but think, yeah, that's really the only reason. In a translated post, they stated to the community regarding yeah, the our community. scheduled online participation in Tokyo Game Show 2024 on September 26th at 3 p.m. Due oh, to man. various circumstances, we regret to inform you that we have decided to cancel our participation. However, the commemorative present campaign for the ongoing official broadcast will continue as planned. We apologize for the short notice and any inconvenience caused. To everyone who is looking forward to the stream, oh. we sincerely oh. apologize. Sincerely, you- Yo, the Shinobi going crazy right now. Yeah, and, and by the way, like just earlier today, there's also like a little bit of heat uh, Ghost of Tsushima is getting. I, and I remember like the journalists were- This is actually wild, right? Because I, I usually get this comment a lot. Uh, I see this comment a lot uh, on like a lot of videos. Whenever like people talking about the legendary Captain BBC Samurai, uh, Yasuke and whatnot, like about this game, I usually see this comment. People are always saying, so, so these suckers always got mad. The journalists always got mad. They wanted like culture appropriation, this like that with the Ghost of Tsushima. And Ghost of Tsushima is considered to be like a really good game. It was based off of Japan, based off of their culture, history and all that, right? And personally, I have not played, but I've looked at the gameplay and it does look very good. Graphically look good. Now, guess what? I'm not sure when you're watching this video, but earlier today, they apparently revealed Ghost of Tsushima 2. But it's not a Ghost of Tsushima 2, it's like Ghost of Yode. Uh, and gameplay, graphics, everything is looking amazing once again. It, yeah, it's looking amazing. But they're using a female samurai. Uh, and, and you see a lot of people are like, hey, are they doing this because of the journalists that, journalists that got mad? We're gonna find out very soon, okay? Uh, yeah, and it's also related to... Uh, it, 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 the game is set in 1608. So years and years ago, centuries ago, right? So it's gonna... We still have to wait and see like how they do that game because... If it's accurate and if it's uh, good, then yeah, it's good. Then th it doesn't really matter. But but if it's not, then that's also going to start like another drama, man. Uh, that's going to definitely start another drama. But wait for it. Ubisoft Entertainment. Now, that was initially in Japanese. And Ubisoft was supposedly going on to have a stream for the Tokyo Game Show talking about Assassin's Creed Shadows and yeah. promoting it. And they backed out two days before that was supposed to go live. Crazy. From the moment Ubisoft revealed Crazy. Assassin's Creed Shadows, the game was mired in controversy. From dual protagonist Yasuke, who they portrayed as an African samurai based on a real historical figure, and Naoi, a fictional female shinobi. shinobi. And it sparked Yee. immediate backlash. Why would you choose a fictional female to play alongside a real life black protagonist? Yeah, uh, like that is crazy, right? So they choose Yasuke, he's a real person, but for, the, uh, and they made him what he's not, okay? Yeah, and, and uh, Shinobi, fi and they, for a Shinobi, they use a fictional Japanese uh, Shinobi, right? Uh, and there's just like so many things wrong that people found out, like I ain't even gonna go over, but. It's clear as day that Ubisoft was going over the top attempting to inject DEI into their game. <laughs> While Assassin's Creed has always been playing fast and loose with historical accuracy, many, and in this case especially Japanese fans, felt that this latest entry took too many liberties. They even started a petition circulating it to call for the game's cancellation, <laughs> and even had concerns over how Japanese- Yo, I remember, like, I remember covering this, like, uh, how, how many weeks ago? Like, uh, I would say two months ago, roughly, right? So this petition reached uh, over 100k. Damn, man, like this like, is crazy right now, man. Culture and history were being represented to the Japanese diet. Yeah. And Ubisoft's response to all of this didn't help the matter. They put out a four page quasi, I guess you could call it an apology, but they never actually apologized for it. Uh, for context, apparently this uh, was sent to, to sent to the, the government, the legal government, the DT, like what he said. 
Uh, and they say they're investigating the matter. So an actual government is investigating the matter. Not sure if it's going to go anywhere, but that's still big. That's still big anything if anything looking at the statement it was just more of a clarification like still again doubling down on why everyone else is wrong about yasuke yeah. and assassin's creed shadows wrong. and they hope to portray japan in a positive light in a positive setting and and positive for yeah, like and this was all yeah, an important aspect to yeah. ubisoft which yeah it's like a very positive you know so like very positive yeah in reality no, they wanted to inject DEI into the game, and they're calling you the problem by not accepting it. And if that were the worst of it, I'd say that was bad enough. But no, what happened yesterday was actually even worse than backing out of the Tokyo Game Show. As if you what happened? couldn't what happened? even go there. The latest controversy comes in the form of a figure released to promote Assassin's oh, Creed Shadows, yeah. which as of this Whoa. recording is still available for purchase from Pure Arts for $49 USD. You what? can have this cute yeah it's like it's crazy man 49 dollars 49 you guys crazy it should be 4.99 hell it should be 4.99 no more than that what the hell i mean first of all it should not exist okay let me just say that Bruh. but okay secondly it should not be 49 4.99 guys come on man what planet are you guys living on Two lectors, statue, figurine of Yasuke and Shinobi on top of the one leg Tori, a gate that survived the atomic bombing of Nagasaki. Yeah. Like, this is, this is big. so this is big. out of touch tone death that I'm like, there's no way they. Uh, and of course, like, uh, right now, the US and Japan are allies, but of course, back in the days, they were not. And the U.S. was like, okay, let me just drop a nuke real quick. Let me just call in the Moab. Let me call a nuke on you guys' asses. And they did. They did not once, but twice. And uh, one of the places it dropped, that statue, what we're learning is that... I did not know that till today. But that statue stood tall. And they were like, okay, that's that's cute. Ubisoft was like, that's cute, man. Let me just uh, make sure the, the BBC Samurai stays tall there. Uh, first of all, oh shit, I forgot about it. Where is that? Where is that? One second, one second. Shout out to Captain BBC! Yeah, I was like searching for it. Like, I wanted to shout out the Captain BBC. Did this. It's a video game. And Ubisoft is starting to take real life stuff that had major impact in many lives that completely shaped the planet that we're on right now. And they're trying to toss it into a figurine that, to make some sales on it. Yeah, you gotta bro. be kidding me, Ubisoft. You can't be this stupid. User R230614 <laughs> Shin sparked the outrage when they tweeted, and this is translated from Japanese. Spread the word. Assassin's Creed Shadow figurines from Ubisoft, a famous Japanese hate and criminal company. Man. Yo. Yo, Ubisoft cannot do a single thing right by the looks of it. I guess this is what happens when you guys hire, like, activists for your company. When are you guys going to learn? Uh, what, uh, 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 what I'm hearing is that... Uh, there's a company, right, that has fired Sweet Baby Inc. or said that they're not gonna Square Enix, right? So I'm hearing I need to get down to it. I'm not, like, fully caught up on that story yet, but heard headlines and saw that, that, uh, yeah, people are talking about it and news is spreading that, yo, Square Enix said no to, uh, to Sweet Baby Inc. Go figure, go figure, go figure. So eventually they're gonna learn but uh but i'm not sure if it's gonna be too late though because their investors are saying that they're downgrading they downgraded the stock again but like they also did say prior to that story they did say that hey ubisoft just take your stock go private man and when your own investors are saying that that's big folks that is big okay like damn man like this like is crazy right now so they need to wake up man y'all like has gotta wake up make games for gamers simply man don't let the activists ruin your company but it's ubisoft like bruh like a figurine of a destroyed tory gate has been released which is believed to be based on the one leg tory gate that was destroyed in the nagasaki atomic bombing i have never seen a one-legged tory other than the one destroyed by the american atomic bomb in nagasaki now just taking a step back from all of this with how much Ubisoft has pissed off people in Japan, could you imagine 
doing this on top of that. It is so completely, I keep going back to saying tone deaf. It's, you are completely out of touch with reality. You are so far deep into DEI that you don't actually understand what the repercussions are with doing stuff like this. Sugimoto the Immortal replied to me on Twitter saying, my wife is from Hiroshima, and whilst they hold no ill will towards anyone for what happened, yeah. it is still a touchy subject to this day, as expected. I can say without a doubt, this is done in bad taste, and without any consideration to how the Japanese people may feel. And with Ubisoft behind it, color me shocked. Dash Attack VTuber said, all that money and sensitivity consultants, and they screw up something this offensive. Next you tell me a woke game will feature the World Trade Center as a part of the game's all history about American fascism. Which is uh, hearkening back to what happened with Dustborn and how they had the World Trade Centers in the background of that game as well. What? No way. So they really had that in the game? Damn! Damn, out of every game, it turns out to be that Dustborn did it. Now, I'll, albeit, like, they do not show, like, the actual uh, trade center on fire or anything like that. You you know, you know what I mean, right? But out of, but still, dog, like, out of every game, because there were rumors uh, and leaks. Not sure if they're going to turn out to be true or not, but there were rumors and leaks a couple of months ago uh, that Black Ops 6 was going to have, like, a uh, nine one and uh one okay like can i say that that collectively together on youtube all right uh yeah so apparently we had leaks that did say that we're gonna have that in in black ops 6 probably is not true anymore i think because we never really got any follow-up leaks or rumors or any news on it so i think that's not happening but dustborn has it what the hell because that's what happens with DEI consultancy companies. They get so far into their own religion of DEI yeah, that of they those. forget about reality and what actually is offensive to real people. At this point, it's hard to imagine Assassin's Creed Shadows making a successful recovery in any way. Controversies continue to pile up. Historical accuracy issues, culturally insensitive marketing. Ubisoft yeah. is facing impossible to win battles. Battles that they have created themselves them themselves and mm. don't worry mm. they're going to offload that and blame the consumers blame the gamers blame yeah. you for being the bigots in the problem and not just consuming what they toss out there instead of them taking any accountability for their actions and at the end of the day ultimately that's what's going to doom this company they got so far up their ass with dei that they forget to even look at reality and take a step back from all of it and Damn. understand repercussions of doing stuff like this felix all-star captures it perfect hey man listen i don't know what anybody says i got a salute to captain bbc man damn man like they they using a real person yasuke to push their bowl squash man and, and for a shinobi they're like okay we're gonna use a legendary not a legendary but fictional shinobi but for damn man like i wonder like how the real person the real yasuke is feeling right now because these things be using uh him damn man ubisoft's crazy bro said on twitter LMAO, how does that even happen with all the localizers and DEI consultants? Yeah, like, like this is the one time they could have done something, something good, good. And, <laughs> nah, and attached a photo saying, you had one job, and a dude looking at Kim Belair. Dutch Viking said, offending oh, an entire right culture whilst trying to be woke. I think they call that irony. It's so obvious. They're spending how many millions upon millions of dollars to promote and market and create this game? Yet they're so tone deaf with the most obvious things in the world. Like they got access to some of the best DEI consultants. They they had the world famous Sweet Baby Inc. at their disposal, at their fingertips, man, just at their fingertips. And, and they do crap like that. Man, I was not expecting. Listen, y'all, I had high hopes about that part, but that man color me surprised, ladies and gentlemen. Check out this video on the screen. Some massive massive crap just went down man i'm not sure if you guys were able to catch this or not a lot of real real bad news coming out right now guys check out this video on the screen if you already seen it then check out the video on the left